That was very good. I'm going to read a a verse here from Hebrews chapter 5, no, chapter 4. Seeing then, this is the conclusion. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, this is the first exhortation. Let us hold fast our profession. Now I'm going to exhort you today to hold fast. In other words, don't let it go. Your profession of faith. He, he, he saved you. He's the one that, that died and saved us. But we need to hold fast of that, what, that he gave us. To believe that he's the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hold fast of your profession of faith. For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. It means we have one that can be touched. Yeah, yeah. He, when you come to him, when you come to this throne of grace, something happens. Yeah. You don't go away empty, right? Yeah. Brother Michael, he was going over this. Wait, everything's there. Everything's there. So the exhortation is to don't deprive yourself from there. <laughs> He's there, so you come confidently, come into his presence with boldness, believing that he's going to give you what you need. See, this is the the exhortation. He's got what you need. You're never, ever going to find what you need in the circumstance. Don't overthink the circumstance. Fly to the throne. Get to the throne of all grace. Because helps there. That's where the help is. So I'm going to exhort us, I'm exhorting myself too, to in the middle of the trouble, whatever the struggle don't forget the throne. Get to the throne. Because yes. that's, that's where the power is to change the circumstance. Give you grace. Maybe he won't call you out of the circumstance. Maybe you can just endure, endure. for a season. Why? Because he's got grace. I like to think of it like this. If you believe he's got grace with your name written on it. Yeah. In other words, it's this Jesus is administering personally one on one to all those who come unto him. Amen. Amen. So this is this is what we've been called to. We've been called to glory and to virtue, right? And all the, these mighty things. It cannot be accomplished without this grace that he has. Praise God that he sat down that Jesus is set down on the right hand of power. God's got the power to help us. He put, the, he put a man there, a man that we can be touched with our infirmities. So praise God, we have, he says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need, and which one of us don't find ourselves in that kind of need? See, from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, there's a time of need. We need this grace. And look at, God's not holding it back. He's not. He's made it available in His Son. We just need to run to Him, run to Jesus. I praise God. Thank you very much, Brother Michael.